Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment, we're going to give you a few tips on scrapbooking flowers. Now, flowers come in all shapes and sizes, but they're so beautiful when they bloom, and then they're gone, and we don't get to see them anymore. There's many reasons that you can scrapbook your flowers. You can make a journal of your garden and take flowers out of your garden and just dry them and press them and put them into your scrapbook so you can enjoy them over the winter and remember how beautiful they really are. You can make your own little cards with them or you can put pictures with the actual flowers. And there's so many creative things that you can do with dried or scrapbooked flowers. So flowers come in all shapes and sizes and the more colorful the better they are for scrapbooking. Like this little violet is just perfect or pansy. Um, it has so much detail to it. It's just gorgeous. And by just taking that off of the plant and putting it between two newspapers, or just one newspaper, just set it in there, put one heavy book underneath it, and then you just put any flower, like this chrysanthemum right here is great for scrapbooking. And I like real delicate flowers, like this little alyssum. But sometimes be careful with white flowers because they do fade and turn brown when you scrapbook them and sometimes don't look as good as the colorful flowers. But any type of flower will make a great, great um, hanging basket like this petunia, but it'll also make a great scrapbooking item. And geraniums, even a little geranium flower, when you look at it up closely, it just is gorgeous. So you put all these flowers together, even this little rose mallow, it's just gorgeous. And you just put it in between two pieces of newspaper and kind of spread them out a bit. And you can always add more newspaper as well. But I found that these are not very moist flowers. They're going to dry pretty easily and they're pretty thin. So when you place them, make sure that you place them so that they're going to squish down or when they go flat that they're going to look good. So a lot of times even by curling back a flower so that you can see the purple because if you didn't curl it back it would just look a little more gray but if you curl it back and press it then you're going to see all the color. So that's the key is to really spread out the flowers so that when they press you get to see them really well. And then I just cover them all up with a newspaper and then I just put a heavy book on top of it and leave it for a few days and try to put it in the warmest room in the house so that it can really dry well. You don't want to keep it in a moist area because it'll never dry. But even a few flowers will dry really quickly. And it's a really easy way to scrapbook them. And I'll show you real quick just by pressing them how beautiful they are even if they're not dry. So the best part of scrapbooking is that you can save your flowers and you can put them in your scrapbooks and you can enjoy them in 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. And then you can even pass them down to your kids in the future.